Hey everyone! Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Abby, and for this tutorial, we are going to create a Buy Me A Coffee smart contract using Hardhat. Buy Me A Coffee is a tipping service site where you can donate money or give them a tip and send a nice message along with it. So, let's get right into it. First, let's go to our terminal. Let's get bash here. And then, let's create a folder called Buy Me A Coffee. Let's go to that folder, cd buy me a coffee. And then, let's create another folder called hardhat. And then let's cd again to that folder hardhat. Let's npm init-y to initialize this project. And then npm install dash dash save dash dev hardhat. This is to install our hardhat. And then let's type in the shortcut code dot to go to our code. I'll be using VS Code, but you can use any code editor you like. Now let's go to our terminal. I'm going to use git bash. And let's type in npx hardhat to execute our hardhat. npx hardhat. And then we're going to create a JavaScript project. Use the suggested project root. And yes, to create a git ignore. Let's install the recommended plugin, Gnomic Foundation. Let's copy that and paste it here. Now let's wait for it to install. It's going to take a bit long depending on the internet connection. And there will be warnings, which we can ignore for now. After that's done, a quick overview on the folders that were created. We have the lock.sol, which is a sample contract, deploy.js, and hardhat.config.js. Let's delete this lock.sol because we're not going to be needing that. And we are going to create our own Solidity file called buymeacoffee.sol, meaning we are writing this smart contract using the Solidity language. The first thing that we need to do when creating a smart contract is declare the license. Here, I'm going to use MIT license. You can read more at spdx.org. And the version of the Solidity that we will use is 0.8.0 up to the latest version. Now we are ready to create our contract and let's name this buy me a coffee to match the name of our file. Buy me a coffee. And then let's delete the constructor as we're not gonna be needing that for now. And then let's create or define a new event called new memo. So the memo is the message that people will be sending us when they buy coffee. Let's fill that in later on and then let's create a struct called memo. And struct is like a template of the messages that we will be receiving. So we want the address from sender, the timestamp, and the string of the name and their messages. We want all of these events to show up. So we want this to be emitted once we issue that memo or message. This is very similar to the struct. So I just copied and pasted that and I will edit this indexed from. And the syntax is a little bit different. So there should be commas and no comma after the message. Okay, we also want an address payable for this address to be paid. So address payable owner. This is us, the deployer of the contract. And this is where the tips are going to go when someone buys us a coffee. Address of the contract deployer. And then we want all of the list of all the memos or array of the memos that we have received. This is the list of all memos see from coffee buyers. Hey. And then we'll have the constructor. Constructor is run only once, and that one time that it will run is when the contract is deployed. So here Owner will be the one who deploys this contract. So that's going to be message.sender. And since we will have this little error here, and we have defined the type here as payable, so we will also need to make this one payable. And then we want a function to get all the memos that was sent to us. This is going to be public, so everyone can see it. And then this is view, since we are not going to change any state, and then we want it to return something. And what it will return is the list of all the memos. And then return memos. Finally, 
The main functionality of our smart contract is to buy coffee. So let's create a function named buy coffee. In here, we're going to need string, memory name, and string memory message. We use memory to save gas because after we're done with this function, we don't want to store what's in there anymore. And then what we want to do here is for people to buy us coffee and we will have money with every transaction. For us to be able to add money, we will allow this to be payable and then public. Anyone should be able to call this function. We will then check here that the amount is greater than zero. If that is not met, our smart contract will tell the person trying to buy us coffee that they can buy or cannot buy coffee for free. So you need to pay more than zero. If it passes that require message, the money will automatically be transferred to the contract owner. So that's owner transfer message dot value. And then we will be able to create a new memo by using the memo struct as a guide. Memo dish dot sender block dot timestamp the name and the message and we want to save that inside the memos array so we need to push that inside memos.push then we are going to emit a new memo so here below that emit new memo and then everything will be the same here so let's copy and paste that so there you go, you can add more functionalities, but for this tutorial, this is basically it and should be good to go. We are now going to compile and deploy our smart contract. Go to compile, npx hardhat compile, and let's wait for that and we will see that it is successfully compiled. So there is an added folder here called artifacts and we will be needing that later on. Before deployment, there are a few more steps that we need to take. Let's go to deploy.js file, and we will see here a default code that we won't be needing. So let's delete everything, and let's start fresh and write our own code. That's const hre uh, require hardhat. hat. Then let's create an async function called main. That's async function. Let's edit this. It should be called main. And let's delete this params. And inside, let's create a variable called buy me a coffee, which will await hre.ethers.get contract factory. Then inside is the name of our contract. So that's buy me a coffee. Let's create another variable called deployed buy me a coffee which will await the buy me a coffee contract dot deployed and then we will await for that to be deployed so await deployed buy me a coffee dot deployed then we want to be able to see it in our console log so that we will know the contract address of our smart contract once it is live on the blockchain. So that's console log, contract deployed to, and then deployed by me a coffee dot address. Then outside the main function, we try to catch if there are any errors. Now a few more things before actually deploying our contract. Back in our terminal, let's install dot env. But we'll use this in order to create some private environment variables. So in this one, I will be storing my private key and RPC URL privately. So let's create a .env file. Then let's add these variables, private key and RPC URL, which will be the Mumbai HTTP. I won't be showing these to you since this should be private, but you should be able to see your private key here in your MetaMask. Click the three dots beside your wallet address, account details, export private key and type in your password and then the rpc url or mumbai http should be in the settings and then networks 
and choose Mumbai. Where is it? Mumbai. There you go. And you should type those in in here. Now let's go to hardhat.config.js and let's use the information that we put in our .env file. So at the top, let's put another require statement for our .env. And then after that, under the Solidity version, let's type in the network that we are going to use. So that's Mumbai. And then inside is the URL process.env dot mumbai http and then the accounts this is our private key so accounts process dot env dot private key now we are ready to deploy let's go back to our terminal and let's run npx hardhat run script slash deploy dot js hit enter Okay, oops, this should be scripts. Let's edit that and then enter. And there's a little error here. So let's check the documentation over in hardhat.org. And we will need to tweak a few things in our code. So let's check that. Okay, and let's go back to our deploy.js. So here, this one should actually be deploy contract. And then let's delete this one. Let's edit this, buy me a coffee. And then this should be wait for deployment. And let's delete everything here. We should await this one. Then buy me a coffee, then get address. This should be good to go. Let's try deploying that again. And that didn't work correctly. So let's go back and check our code again. I'm going to edit. Let's put a lowercase, buy me a coffee, and there should be a parenthesis here. This should work now. Let's deploy that straight to Mumbai network. And again, we have an error. That's all right. We forgot something in config. So let's um, put network here. So network. And inside that should be this whole thing all right and then let's try deploying that again and there you go we can now see our contract address let's copy that and let's go to mumbai.polygonscan.com and make sure that we are on testnet paste that here and now we can see our deployed smart contract now we are ready to verify our contract. Run npx hardhat verify dash dash network Mumbai. Then our contract address. So let's copy that and paste it. Let's also paste it here so that we will always have a copy. Right, let's wait for that. And actually, we also need an API key in our .env to verify our smart contracts. Let's go to our .env file and add the API key in here. So to grab that API key, let's head to alchemy.com, go on and sign up or sign in, click create app, type in your app name. Description is not required. Then choose your network. Since I already have a Buy Me A Coffee app, it's not allowing me to have a duplicate, but for you, just click Create App, and you will see your API key right here. Just paste that in your .env file. And going back to config, let's add Etherscan. Then, API key. Process.env.api key. 
that should work now. And let's try verifying that again using the same command. Wait for it, and we now see that it's successfully verified. Let's head over to this link. Open. And we can now see that this is the exact smart contract that we have written. So there's read contract and write contract. Let's connect our wallet here. So next, and then connect. And there we go, our wallet is connected. And anyone who has our contract address can now interact with it. Let's try buying us a coffee for 0.001 Matic. Let's write our name here and the message that we want to send. Enjoy your coffee. And right. MetaMask should pop up. And let's confirm the transaction. And we will now be able to see our transaction here. Let's refresh that. There we can see the details here. And click to see more. The code input data. We can now see the transaction here. Let's go back. Let's read contract query. And it's also here. And there we have it, guys. We have just created a Buy Me A Coffee smart contract, deployed, verified, and even interacted with it.